Hi, my name's Isaac, and today our topic comes from a subscriber submitted question. What? A subscriber submitted question? How on earth could I, a fellow subscriber, submit a question so that I too could be featured on one of Isaac Gomez's wrestling videos. It's lucky you asked because as of today, you no longer have to go through annoying emails and drop boxes in order to submit your wrestling questions, matches for match review, memes, highlights, and other general discussion. I can submit wrestling questions, wrestling videos for match review, memes, highlights, and other general discussions? Where on earth could I possibly do that? It's lucky you asked because now at reddit.com slash r slash wrestle, you can submit your wrestling questions, wrestling matches for match review, memes, highlights, and other general discussion just at the click of a button. Reddit.com slash r slash wrestle? It's lucky you asked because all you have to do is make an account and subscribe to reddit.com slash r slash wrestle and you can start submitting your wrestling matches, your wrestling memes, wrestling questions, and other general wrestling discussion. Gee, thanks! I'm gonna go do that right now! Alright, on a more serious note. Today, we have a question coming from Reddit. If you guys don't already subscribe to my Reddit, then you guys have to. Right now, because I have 16 subscribers. And our first question comes from Reddit. How do I build muscle mass in the offseason? I'm a freshman, first year wrestler, and right now, because I'm fat, I'm having to wrestle our 220 and our 285. I weigh around 190 pounds and just keep losing. There's nothing I can do except to build muscle. That, and I'd like to wrestle around 220 or 195 next year. So how do I build muscle mass? So when I was a freshman, I was a 132 pounder and I was probably like 5'10 in height. I didn't have to cut weight to make 132. The things that I found work the best for gaining weight that like, you don't wanna just bulk up and get fat and like, gain all, like a ton of weight and like not have it do anything for you right if you go to the gym and you like do isolation exercises where you like you just do bench press or you just do shoulder raises or you do like just like random like just individual muscles you're gonna see improvement but it's gonna be very very limited you know what i mean you're gonna balloon up but like when it comes to use it in a wrestling match it's not gonna feel natural what i found works the best is finding compound workouts workouts that are like compound movements. Multiple muscles have to work together in order to accomplish this. This is like cleans, that's a compound movement. Deadlifts are compound movements. Lunges, sprints, like these are all compound movements and doing them weighted. You need to figure out how to push yourself every day, how to be able to push yourself every single day to the point where you can't do any more and then you stop and like that's how you improve. You know what I mean? Like figure out a time, an intensity or like a heart rate if you got an Apple Watch that you wanna reach and maintain for a certain amount of time. And then like the next day you should be able to maintain it longer. Okay, and then once you're all sore, once you finish, you have to consume copious amounts of protein and fat, okay? Copious, copious amounts of protein and fat. You have to eat as many grams of protein as you can because you're a growing boy and you will recover from this really fast. You're like, you're like a 40 year old male with steroids. You know what I mean? Because you're so young, you're going to gain the muscle really quickly. So you need to have that intake of protein to rebuild your muscle. You can gain a lot of weight depending on like how much money you have to spend on protein powder and food like within a summer. You know what I mean? You can gain 10, 15, 20 pounds in a summer of muscle just by every day, like doing different workouts constantly, box jumps, lunges. There's a million, look up compound workout on YouTube and you can find a million different examples. Keep your chin up about losing, especially if you're wrestling people heavier than you and you're a freshman. Just keep your chin up. These compound workouts will help you way more. Like being strong in these ways and like these different ways, pull-ups and like all these compound movements will help you so much more than increasing your bench press or increasing your leg press or you know what i mean it's gonna help you much much more because you're gonna be using these groups of muscles while you wrestle okay and it's gonna make you faster and stronger and better okay if you guys like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my subreddits uh subscribe to that shit. but until next time i'll see you guys